Hello Tubes. In this video, I'm going to ask you for your views on the relationship between social and natural science. Hopefully, I'll provide enough information here so that you'll be able to choose from the four options I'm going to offer, either in the comments section or in the poll on my Google Plus that I'll link in the description. The options are arranged along the following axes. The vertical axis runs between what I've called conjunctive veracity on top and disjunctive veracity on the bottom. By conjunctive veracity, I mean that both the study of society and the study of nature can yield truth. That both disciplines not only claim but are also capable of achieving the status of science. Which is why options one and two at the top, social naturalism and social humanism, are optimistic about the possibility of both social and natural truths. Disjunctive veracity, on the other hand, means that either the study of society or the study of nature cannot yield truth that at least one of these disciplines is incapable of achieving the status of science. Which is why options three and four at the bottom, social nihilism and social positivism, are pessimistic about the possibility of there being social and natural truths together, although not apart. The horizontal axis runs between what I've called methodological monism on the left and methodological dualism on the right. By methodological monism, I mean that we study nature and society in the same way, by means of an essentially continuous research method which applies to both, despite any superficial dissimilarity. Which is why the odd-numbered options on the left, social naturalism and social nihilism, unify the study of nature and society. Methodological dualism, on the other hand, means that we study nature and society in different ways. That there is a radical discontinuity between the research methods that are applied to the study of society and those that are applied to the study of nature. Which is why the even-numbered options on the right social humanism and social positivism bifurcate the study of nature and society. Suitably orientated then, let's discuss each option in turn. The first option, social naturalism, claims that the study of society is continuous with the study of nature, and that this unified line of inquiry yields truth about nature and society alike this is my position. I hold that the study of nature and of society as a part of nature is best undertaken in adherence to a single set of reliable epistemic standards. Standards which, in being reliable, yield truth. The second option, social humanism, claims that the study of society is discontinuous with the study of nature, but that both approaches are equally capable of yielding truth. This is the predominant position among social scientists, such as Christy Winters, who claim, for example, that the qualitative methods of social science are distinct from the quantitative methods that it shares with the natural sciences, but that the results of social science are no less true because of this. The next option, social nihilism, claims that the study of society and nature are continuous but that the methods under which they are unified cannot yield truth, neither about nature nor about society. This is the position of those like Sandra Harding or Richard Rorty when they come dangerously close to suggesting that science is a mere ideological instrument, that it's an exercise in privilege hung from a dubious appeal to a noumenal reality of which nothing can be truly known. The final option, social positivism, claims that the study of society and the natural sciences have different methods, but that only one of them yields truth. This would be the position of those like Thunderfoot, for example, who seems to hold that social science is a misnomer. 
that its expressions, unlike those of the natural sciences, are more like poetic incantations than a sober pursuit of truth. Okay, so now that you've hopefully got a better idea of what the fuck I'm on about, and what the four options I've set out here represent, I'd like to hear from you. Which of these four options do you find most plausible? Please vote, either in the comments below or on the Google Plus poll linked in the description. Thank you for listening, and indeed, voting. <laughs>